I'm going to do it in socks. I'm not getting my toes out for free, you know? I always have to wear a dress there so that I can just hop over the fence and just wee in the bush. I was too frigid. I promise you, there is nothing in this hellhole of a package that you're going to be wanting to buy. Today, um, as you can see by the title, we're about to have the worst ASOS haul you have ever seen. And I truly mean that. So if you like me, you watch hauls and you're always like, oh, I need to stop watching them because I end up with me buying loads of stuff. You can watch this one guilt-free because I can promise you there is nothing in this hellhole of a package that you're going to be wanting to buy. Yeah. So how do we get into this mess? I basically, every now and then, ASOS sends you a notification. It's like 25% off and you're like, woo. And I put loads stuff in the basket. I just buy, buy, buy. Because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to try it and see. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should try something new. Like maybe I should try something that is three sizes too small for me and was never going to fit me anyway. All the stuff comes. I try it all on. It is grim. And then what happens is I miss the deadline to return it. Even though every single day I'm like, go to the post office, go to the post office, go to the post office. And I don't go. At the moment, I'm weighing up whether that's my ADHD or just me as a person. So really, this is a combination of having bad fashion sense, no awareness of what size I am, and no ability to return things. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the worst haul to grant YouTube. Start off with a banger or should we just go in easy? Okay, we'll start off with a banger. Right, these, okay, these actually are gonna be a jump scare. I'd maybe be easily offended, I'd maybe stop on. Seen anything worse? These are horrible. I'd like to premise the fact that I have massive feet. Anything like this is just ten times worse. Look at these. These are bigger than my head. Hang on, let me just let me just try them on. I'm going to do it in socks. I'm not getting my toes out for free. You know, I've just started my influencer career. You know, I'm not I'm not giving out toe shots for free. You can pay me. I'm I'm happy to organise a very decent rate for you. Anyway, this is them on. See them? Isn't that the worst thing you've ever seen? Look at the clump that you can get on that. In what situation did I think I'd be wearing these? I need to know. And did I think this was gonna come up, you know? These are quite aggressive, I'd actually say. These I'm stuck with, because no one's gonna buy these on Vinted, are they? Like, I think even a charity shop would be like, are oh, you all right? This is literally like an unlucky dip, but it's horrible. Okay, these are really bad. These are yellow, hang on, let me just get up so you can see them in all their glory. So they're ribbed, they're also see-through, and then they've got this little like, you see that at the bottom, the kind of like hemi situation. And you might think, no, they could look quite cool in the summer. If you, let me just do a little try on for you. Okay, I could literally tuck my boobs into these. I'm so happy that I never got around to returning these. And then this is the back. Oh, my bum is looking pretty good though. Dude, Holly that's editing that, make sure you zoom in on that, because that was, that was a good shot. I don't know where these are from, and quite frankly, I don't think it'd be fair to give whoever they are from um, the bad press. Oh, they were ASOS. Oh, ASOS. Come on, babe. You can do better than that. <laughs> Everything will be linked in my storefront. Okay, this. Now, I actually tried this on the other day, and I feel like I could be back into it. When I first tried this on, it didn't quite fit. And when I say it didn't quite fit, it actually broke the zip. So in putting this on, zip was off. And it was so short that literally, I could have gone and got my laser hair removal in this, and I wouldn't have had to take anything off when I got there. That's why I would be wearing pants. I think the only way I could put it is this. If you've got a laser hair removal appointment, right, you could wear this. All you'd have to literally do is like a little, and it would be out. So this, not horrific, it could be quite cool if I wasn't 29 and too big for it. Please let me know if you'd like a try on all of all these because I can organise that. Next we've got this. Um, the only positive thing I can think of for this is the fact that it's got pockets. Like, have you ever seen anything more grim? Can I just add that these were all bought in, that this was all one purchase. Like, where did I think all of these horrible things were going, you know? Like, what was the plan? Like, what was the vision? That's what I need to know. There was not a single situation I would wear this, apart from maybe, like, fancy dress if I was being, like, Jessie from Toy Story. It's not a flattering fit. So, Daisy Street, my people need to speak to your people and work out what the hell was going on here. What was going on in my brain to buy and what was going on in your brain to make it? Okay, next. This would be fine if I was a waitress um, working out in like Hawaii, you know, cute little like, if I had like a little like bum bag and I was like taking your order, but I'm not. I'm just a girl that lives in Surrey that goes out approximately once every three weeks because she'd rather be staying in picking her nose. I think I've gone off piece there. It's also, this doesn't fit me. So same as that other dress doesn't fit me. This doesn't fit me because it's too big. Like I don't, I've got no sense of what size I am. I think I reached the age like 25. I had this second wave of puberty that came out of nowhere, my ad. And it made me, it just made everything expand other than my boobs, which could really have done with it. So now I just panic purchase. I literally am between a 10 and a 14. I don't know which. And I just kind of pot luck. 
buy things and see what happens. So this is where these came in. This is kind of giving, you know, like a teenager going to like a liquid, like under 16s night. Anyone else going to those events? I actually never went to an under 18s club night. I was too scared because I was a loser. But I remember loads of my friends going to like a phone party and the stuff people would get up to, sorry, at an under 18 club night is terrifying. I was too frigid. I was too frigid to even go. Okay, next in the ASOS bag of doom. Oh God, this. Now this was really bad. Okay, bearing in mind, I have worn one long dress in my entire life. And it's because I went to a wedding and I kind of was like, I feel like this is the kind of situation where I need to not have my arse hanging out. Now this dress, the speciality is, is that it's completely see-through. I mean, it's kind of giving like, Bella from the Tweenies, isn't it? Which is quite cool. Again, I think if maybe I wasn't me, the only places that I go are to Lidl, to my local leisure centre, and occasionally to my mum and dad's house. So like, where was this going? I need to know where I was going in this outfit. Actually, that's actually a lie. The one time that I do wear skirts, if I go to the pear tree in Battersea, because they don't have enough toilets there. Um, and I always find that I am literally gonna piss myself if I get in their queue to try and go to the toilet there. So I always have to wear a dress there so that I can just hop over the fence and just wee in the bush. I really need to stop oversharing on here. Like genuinely, I keep forgetting that anyone's gonna watch this other than me. And I just, do you know who I worry about most? I worry about my poor boyfriend. Like I just picture him like watching this being like, why does everyone in the world need to know that my girlfriend pisses herself? I'm sorry for that, Rory, but not sorry enough to stop doing it. So I can't help it, it's a natural human function. Next was this, this is giving librarians first rave. My problem is I have no sense of style, right? There, there is nothing that connects the dots, there's nothing that goes together. Um, and this is very much screaming that. Also the way this collar is flapping so limply, there's no life in it. Even this, this outfit has given up on itself. I'm sorry to hear that, but you are terrible. Where was this from? ASOS, genuinely, I feel like you need to play this back in your head office in one of your board meetings, right? And just take it as, you know, the things that went wrong last year that we can build on this year. Okay, another bad purchase. I got these sunglasses. I went through a stage of being like, I'm gonna be my cool girl, like cool sunglasses here. But again, I need to understand that some things just have to stay with the Instagram models, okay? This is doing nothing for me. This is giving, I'm going to my laser hair removal appointment. This is, this is not giving, you know, cheap going to Montenegro or wherever everyone's going. There's no style. There's no, you know, where's the decorum? Not here. I also don't like that you can see my eye. That's really creepy. I don't like that. I feel like I'm staring into my own soul. Oh, that's much better. Okay, I think we've seen enough of my horrible clothes. I can do a part two if you'd like, or I can do a try and haul if you like. ASOS, if you want to redeem yourself, you know, Feel free to send me a voucher. No pressure. I'll just try on your ugly clothes and out you as someone that sells ugly clothes, if not. If you like this video, please tell me. And if you've got any suggestions of videos you'd like me to do, please tell me because I am scared of YouTube. YouTube scares me. I don't know what you guys want. I'm just winging it. I'm going balls to the wall and hoping for the best. Anyway, I'm gonna go and burn these clothes. I actually am too embarrassed to put these clothes on Vinted because I don't want them to be associated with my name. They need to invent an anonymous Vinted, actually. I think that would really help me. Anyway, I must go. I hope you all have a live, laugh, lovely evening and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.